Hello there, just a quick video today to show you how our ultralight backpacking cook system has evolved over the last few years. On the right here we have the ultralight titanium snow peak range and a bit of transia and some aluminium baking trays from thrift stores. And in the middle here, uh, the kind of thing that often just ends up in landfill, uh, just simple meat trays that you get at the supermarket that could obviously be used as plastic plates and little bowls to eat out of. The entire three piece set there only weighs about 50 grams and another use for these meat trays is just for fanning your fire so when you need to blow a bit of air onto your campfire. Lately we've also been using these to keep our cook set off the snow when we were camping in the snow. So over to my favourite part of the entire cook range and that is the snow peak titanium. Here we have the very smallest of the snow peak range that's the 300ml cup which pops inside the 450ml cup into the 600ml then into the 700ml pot 700ml of course into the 900ml and then the largest of all in the snow peak range the 1400 mill pot which we use uh, for cooking main meals and boiling water let's just pull out 600 mil with the two cups inside so if we were on a day hiking trip we may only carry just that part of the set along with maybe just one spoon for mixing up drinks one thing i've, I've mentioned in other videos is just this DIY lid that I made out of a tin can, just cut off the top of a tin can with a hacksaw and put that wooden knob on top and the aftermarket four dog lids there's the lid made by a company called Four Dog in America very reasonably priced high quality titanium made in the United States So it all stacks inside it, and of course the four dog lids also fit together. So definitely the most compact system in ultralight cookware. Just pop that in the middle there. Unfortunately, I have mentioned this also before. That is my. DIY lid doesn't fit inside the snow peak set. Just pop that there for now. So you may have noticed in some of our recent videos we've been using these baking trays. So it's just a three piece set that we put together after a number of trips at thrift stores. We didn't find the whole set on the shelf together but eventually just put this together after a number of trips to various thrift stores. So these are the kind of trays that people use to bake small cakes. And here we have possibly the largest aluminium pot made by ultralight backpacking companies. That is the 4 litre Trangia made in Sweden with the lid for the 4 litre Trangia which of course, would you believe it, fits onto the largest of the baking cake trays. So often we use this to, just as a camp oven, that is the larger of the cake baking trays with the transier lid on top, we put that in the campfire to bake bread. Next thing I wanted to show you is just the way the entire cook set stacks together. So the second largest of the baking trays in the bottom of the trangia, then the snow peak inside. Of course, each of the snow peak lids also doubles as a fry pan or plate. So that pops in like so. All in all, with everything 
inside. We now have a 14 piece cook set that stacks inside itself. And the 14 piece cook set also fits into the larger the bagging trays. And we now have a complete 15 piece cook set. Now I've tried many variations, but unfortunately the smaller of the bagging trays will not fit. There is no way of fitting that in there with the lid on top. Now, a couple of other items that will fit inside. There's just a little cleaning pad. It's often useful to have when you're out bush because that small piece of scrubbing pad only weighs about five grams. We also like to have uh, just highly flammable cubes for getting the campfire going when the conditions are wet. So, obviously a quite uh, heavy cook system with 15 pieces in there. Um, but if you did have a large group, this could be quite useful. And we do keep this in the car when we're on cam uh, car camping trips, because there are many variations possible. Now I know a lot of people are going to be wondering what's the overall weight, so I'm just going to switch on my digital scales over here. Take the 15 piece cook set, maybe just remove those two items out of there. Lid, lid back on top. So as you can see the scales are tarred at zero. Put the 15 piece cook set on top and hopefully the camera is picking it up, yes it should be. 1,491 grams, so it's just under one and a half kilos. So for all you Americans out there, that's probably three pounds. We'll do a more accurate conversion for you and pop that information in the bottom of the description. So feel free to ask any questions in the comments regarding this cook system and feel free to check out our cooking videos on our channel where you'll see all of this equipment in action. Marinated kangaroo with African corn maize. Beautiful. There's the maize going into the plates. A chunk of honeycomb right there, Cam. It's about the size of a marshmallow. Hopefully the camera's picking up little hexagon shapes and stuff.